Last game of the round, Optus Stadium, Fremantle Dockers versus the Hawthorne Hawks. Let's get into it. Can I just say, I reckon Hawthorne won to 39. They should have won. Well, I'd say should have won. They were good enough to come back and get themselves into the game against the Cats. Cats are much better opposition than where Hawthorne's at. Sorry. Cats are much op better opposition than where Fremantle is at right now. Henceforth, mathematics says... Hawthorne's getting this one done. Mathematically, it's the Des Dog of the Week. Hawthorne paying $2.50. Get on that right now. He's had a light and Are a they dog. actually the underdog at the moment? $2.50. $2.50 Hawthorne are paying, mate. I'll get it up right now just to double check. What was Stuart paying? Did you check that? $1.27. Oh, stop by three cents. Hawthorne. <laughs> Hawthorne, two fifty, baby. Two fifty. Put that in all your multis. Well, and what's Frio paying there? Dollar fifty four. That's absolutely ridiculous. They must the have got that disrespect. Mixed up. The Des Dog of the Week, baby. Des Dog of the Week. Hawks are getting up. The Des Dog of the Week is loving it. Look, to be, to be fair, I want to spend about three seconds on this game. because it's it, junk. Is it, what is a it, junk game. It's an win. absolute disgusting way to finish the weekend. The Dust Bowl. Um, no, because I'm going to win fat dollars from $2.50. True, true. true. I'll always write a little little uh, segment here, who I'm watching. For, for Fremantle, I don't know because I don't know any of their players anymore. I do. Their entire team is just the Waffle team. No, wrong. Long Dong Sarong. No, nah, forget him. I'm all about Monero Frederick. Oh... He's good. Oh. He's juiced, that man. Christian Brothers College, South Australia, Dolphins, represent Monero. Anytime he gets near it, magic. It's the magic man, I'm telling you. But you get what I'm saying, though. I, yeah. it, it, I'm there, jazzing him up. There, there, I like Monero. There, there's nothing really at the, at the moment to like about Frio, which disappoints me because I was right on the, uh, the bandwagon. They at look the start tired, of the year. man. They do. They look tired. Um, and we've said all year, Jath looks great, and, mm. he's, and he took it to a new level. The one player from Hawthorne... I'm really disappointed in it. James Warple. Yeah. He is yeah. having an absolute yes. stinker. He, he cannot has. get involved. Averaging 16 touches for the year so far. That's disgraceful. And they've been horrible touches too. They have not been good touches. Like he has not impacted the play in a positive what way. Are you doing, especially Jim? on Monday, which I hate because he was so good like two years ago with his big got, mullet. Got a BNF in 2019. Yep. Oh, he came unreal. on the scene. Came on the scene. Can you just well, grow up, please? No, this is come cast. But, I've uh, been sensible all <laughs> night. Why but, can't um, you? I just I, I don't get it. I'm in shitty. saying that, I'm this shitty. this Frio team is insipid. Mm. So I'm backing in Warpool to have 20 plus touches. Dollar ninety one is ballooned out to now. That's good value. Dollar, really? Dollar ninety one. That's good value. Really? Yep. Uh, also, Jackie Scrimshaw, dollar eighty three, had a good game against the been Catters. Look, been looking at my notes. Yep. Adam Chera, twenty five plus, because someone in Frio's midfield's got to have them. So. Why not, Chera? Might as well be uh, here. And big John O'Segler to have a goal. Dollar like dollar fifty seven because Freo's back line is just full of porous. Yeah, nothing. Mm. And and they're not gonna be able to deal with Segler's height, so mm. John O'Segler. Like that a lot. Uh Jeff, Scrim, Impy, all off the back line. Looked great for the Hawks, and they're gonna keep doing that. Uh, Walters is back for Frio, of course, which is that was nice to see. And the young forwards, they're trying, they're cracking in. Switkowski's having a crack. Schultz is having a crack. Schultz concussion, not shit. Yeah, but he's been having. A, he's I, been I know. Getting into I, it. I rate him. I, it, I, it's I like Schultz him. with a U, not Schultz. Hudson, you no, cement headed fool. You, we, could um, sit, we could sit here and do an entire podcast oh, on mispronunciation. Don't tempt me at Fogarty, Ma Melbourne, Fogarty, Brandon Alice. Do you yeah, walk your dog? Yeah, oh, I'm going to get mad. What's wrong know. with mispronunciation? <laughs> you, could, you, you should be an AFL commentator. There's a bunch, of, a bunch of haters. Bunch of haters. <laughs> Look, Sarong, Bray, and Chera all need to sleep. They just need a good eight day, eight day break. I think they had a flat day, and that's what I'm chalking it up to. Hawthorne's winning, as I said. Your multi Mitchell, thirty touches. Ryan for Frio in the back line, twenty touches because it'll be pinging. My man Frederick, the wheels, wheels Frederick, anytime goal. Switkowski, anytime goal. Sean Darcy, I'm stealing this from you because you said last week, Sean Darcy, anytime goal. Inspired it was, and I'm stealing that again for this one. Thanks very much. Sean Darcy's good up forward, mate. Him and Meek actually make a good combination. They, like they, they chop each other out well, um, and it works well for Sean Darcy because he's made of crepe paper and can't stay healthy. It's so a big if, ball of crepe paper. So, so if he's not uh, bashing his body all the time in the ruck, perfect. 